All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to this week's video of Be Connected. And this week, I wanted this episode to focus on authenticity. And I believe that the people that I've met in my life who have influenced me do so by being completely authentic, who aren't afraid of being themselves. Whether it be sharing personal stories, uh, helping out somebody in need, or being completely vulnerable, which isn't easy. And they help me by allowing me to feel like it's a little easier to be me. I think that one of the things that we can agree on is that we all suffer from self-criticism or harsh personal judgment throughout our childhood, into our adolescence, into young adulthood, into middle age, into oldness. A lot of the outside world has been telling us what's right and what's wrong. And a lot of the things that they've been telling us that's wrong is to feel or to be weak or to lose your cool. And I'm here to tell you that it's okay. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to have feelings. They're there for a reason. We go through a lot of tough stuff. Life isn't easy. And why should it be made harder by suppressing emotions because we're told that that's not okay? Why? I don't get it. I have no idea. It uh, reminded me last night I was watching my two nephews and my youngest nep nephew, Malcolm, he's five years old and he that's a, that's a time in your life where you feel emotions pretty strongly and they come up quick and you just can't... I think you don't know or have been <laughs> brainwashed to suppress your emotions. So it just comes up and then boom, he's like done with it. I remember him getting hit with a dodgeball in the face last night and he cried and he came over and he goes, I got hit in the face. and. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, but you're tough, man. And I gave him some water and he just drank his water and then he like ran right back out there. So I feel like it's a lot healthier the way that they deal with emotions than the way that we have been told to deal with emotions. We have been told to stuff them inside, to not feel them, to be strong, to, yeah, just basically not to have these very human qualities that we all have. So, I think we can look to kids and learn a little bit from them because they haven't been as influenced from our society and our family and our schools and all that into becoming these numb zombies that I sometimes feel like. I can either cry, um, be afraid, be vulnerable and let that all out and let it show. and be okay with that, which I will say is very hard to do so right there in the moment. It takes a lot of my own inner kind of courage to be like, okay, I'm, I, I can feel in a sense weak at this moment. I can feel vulnerable. I can feel these things and allow myself to be the way that I feel. Um, or I can go into zombie mode and not feel anything. Uh, put a screen in front of me, basically just zone out and not cope with it, which creates this day-long or week-long depression that I don't enjoy being in. Or I can just get it out, get it over with, and move on, kind of like my nephew does. Uh, one seems a little bit easier. Or not necessarily easier, but one gets me out of that funk a lot faster. So I'm gonna choose to do that one. That is me being my authentic self, and I hope that for you, it can allow you to do the same with yourself, and then maybe someone else will see it and feel the courage or um, the safety to do that exact thing and hopefully it can have a ripple effect and we can all just start being ourselves and i want you to know that i love you and i'm here for you if anybody needs help in any way 
reach out and send me an email or an instant message. I'm good at responding to it. And if you're in the Boise area and you want to meet up for coffee or whatever and just chat, if you have something you want to talk about, I'm here. So I love you all and I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys next time. All right. How does it look? How does it sound? Listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this too close? I do not know. I cannot see it, so I don't know. An impact me. <laughs> um feel phlegm in the back of my throat. I hope it doesn't make me sound like a goat. <coughs> and I feel like I'm rambling and I don't know what I'm saying and I'm repeating the shit that I've already said, but I don't care because soon I'll be dead. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I'm in a rhyming mood today. How does this look? Is it too close to my face? Can you hear what I say? And I go and then there and I'm winning the race. All these outside influences have been telling us what's what right, what's white, or what's wrong. <laughs> um, from our upbringing, from our upbringing, I don't know how to do this. I sing a song, I live a lot and carry along. Is to feel or to be weak or to lose our cool. And I can just keep doing this. <laughs> oh wow, pop. I am doing laundry and I have no underwear. You'd think that would make me somehow care, but I don't. I don't. <laughs>